Why, well, somebody shrunk my towel. What the heck? <laughs> laundry day, yeah. We you gotta keep a hand towel, you know, when you're doing laundry, you gotta keep a hand towel because when you forget and you walk in and it's like, Ugh. hi everybody. It's Friday, it's time to shave. I actually haven't shaved and I just took a shower for the first time in like two days, so gross, but I feel better now. Um, so if you were watching the channel six years ago, you saw when I received and reviewed this, my Rockwell 6C. Yeah, that's the Rockwell 6S, you ding dong. Okay, back to the show, here we are. The stainless steel version, this thing, has become my pretty much favorite daily driver. This is what I go to. This is my go-to razor. Now, I'll throw in the Merica razor every now and then, and of course my vintage ones, but if when I really want to get a good, super close shave, the Rockwell 6S. And I always, always recommend Rockwell razors. Now, if you know Rockwell razors, you know that they have and have had another higher tier razor and adjustable. This one is adjustable by the fact that it has different plates that you can use. I always use the five, right? Yeah, the five. Okay, I use the five. This is a stainless steel. I'll put it right here so we can compare with what I'm about to show you now. The fine folks over at Rockwell said, hey, we got something new coming out, which is not this thing. This, is, this has been around a while and that new thing is gonna have to remain a mystery until I get more information on it myself. I've got it right here, but I can't tell you about it because I need more info. But they also sent me this. Look at this. This is a Rockwell presentation case. If you buy this razor, it comes in this cool box. And let's open it up right now. You probably, oh look, you can see. Oh, it's me, and then me, and then me, and then everything behind me. Oh boy, better watch out. You know my rule. All right, let's open this thing up. It's the Rockwell T2 razor. And this is the gunmetal. The gunmetal gray. Let me take this off. I gotta watch out because there's actually a blade in there because I used this. I think I used this one the other day. Or maybe I used the mystery one. I'm not sure. Anyway, here it is in a beautiful display case. It looks like a little, looks like a Bible almost. You know, with the, you know how Bibles have that, that metallic paper, end paper on the end? This is it. This is the Rockwell T2 adjustable razor in gunmetal gray. It comes with a little uh, head cover so when you, you know, pack your razor away, you can slip the slip it in there. And uh, it came with uh, five Swedish stainless steel blades, Rockwell razor blades. So let's put this over here for right now. Put this over here and show you the T2 adjustable. Now this thing costs 150 bucks, so you know it's no joke. This one I think is 100. Here's what they look like together. Here's the size comparison. So this is a little bit longer. They feel about the same weight wise. So they're both, they both feel very solid. And this to me is reminiscent of one of these, a fat boy. Just, it's just slightly reminiscent. It doesn't really look like it, but it's got, you know, similarities. Their little barn doors are kind of closed on the ends. See, and these are open. Anyway, so let's shave with the Rockwell T2. It is a butterfly razor. You probably are very familiar with this. It just takes regular razor blades. I love butterfly razors because then you don't have to unscrew a bunch of, you know, head pieces and, you know, worry about slipping and cutting yourself. Twist, twist, twist until it stops. I've got this on a, what do I have it on? Five. It goes up to six. So when they, when they contact me, they said, what color do you want? Now, the mystery razor is its own color, but they said, which one do you want? And this gunmetal was my choice, and I made a good choice. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You can read this if you want about the Rockwell T2. There you go. All right. So I took a shower, I did my hair. I'm just gonna use regular old Barbasol today. I mean, regular Barbasol, cheap, and a very fancy razor. $150, beautiful, oh, yeah. All right, so I have been shaving with this razor. Well, I shaved with the other one first, and then I shaved with this one, if I'm not mistaken. I'm having a hard time remembering, folks. The old age is getting me, it's getting me. Uh, so I'm gonna use some Barbasol today, just regular old Barbasol, I put some water on my face. I got, you know, what, a day and a half, two days of growth of beard on here. A, it's not a brand new feather blade. I believe it's, I think I've shaved with it twice, maybe even three times. So, but for these razor uh, reviews, I like to go with 
known commodities as far as the razor blade, the shaving cream, all that stuff. And I want to show you that you don't have to use a fancy shaving foam or a brush or shaving creams and soaps and everything when you use a safety razor. And I keep reiterating that. I don't know if I need to anymore. It's kind of like, why does Coca-Cola still advertise? I don't know, just reminding you. So anyway, so here we go. We got the Gunmetal Gray Rockwell T2, which I might be giving away. I might be giving one of these away. Either the mystery one, which you'll learn about later, not in this video, but I may give one of these away. I'm just not sure. I set off the razor to Pascal over in the Netherlands, so that should be winging its way to you right now. Let's start shaving, and I'll tell you what I think about this razor and how my first shave was with it. And I don't think I did it on five. I think I did it on like four or three the first time. And then I realized I could go a little, little more, uh, you know, aggressive. So I'm up to the five. I didn't want to go six. But the beauty of this razor is you can adjust it for each pass if you do multiple passes. You don't, unlike the vintage ones, you don't have to open the barn doors and readjust it. You can just do it on the fly, so that's nice. Uh, it's solidly built. It's got a good handle. It's got a good length to it. This color is, yeah, just beautiful. They also come in like a chrome and uh, I think a brushed chrome and I think a rose gold, but I don't know if that's still available or not. And then the mystery razor, which as soon as I get all the info, like pricing and release date, because I don't think it's released yet. It's not on their website right now. And uh, I mean, some of you already guessed what it is. <laughs> I'll be reviewing. I'm not going to say it right now. But I guess there's uh, news kind of on the wind out there about this new thing. And so I feel very fortunate to be able to have it in my possession right here. There it is. Oh, don't you hate that? Just show us. Quit being dumb. Quit being dumb? Ooh, did I give myself a little nick? Oh, I've got a little, some sort of a blemish. And I nicked myself. Gosh dang it. You know, I didn't have any nicks with this razor so far in the, uh, I think this is the third time I shaved with it this week. But I will tell you that this is a really smooth, effortless kind of shave. The head is a little bit longer, like wide. Uh, like if you can, t if you, I don't know if you can even see it, but see the blade like stops. There's like a significant amount of space on each end. So it's really kind of encapsulated in there. It's nestled in the middle of the, the head of this razor. So there is definitely no overhang to worry about, you know, when you're twisting, like if you had to hold it to the edge. So there is not, you can, you can do that all day long. <laughs> Why would you? I just, I just walk around like this. You're like Groucho Marx. Ah. All right, you know who Groucho Marx is? <laughs> oh, yes. That's the funny thing about growing up in the 70s. We were still watching, the, you know, Warner Brothers cartoons from World War II. So everybody that was popular at that time, like Peter Lorre and Humphrey Bogart and Lauren McCall and Frank Sinatra and all those guys, you, I grew up watching these cartoon versions of them. So strange. Some of them are a little off, uh, off color these days by today's standards, but you know, that's just the way it is. All right. So there's the first pass. Effortless. I've got it on five, but it doesn't feel aggressive. And that's what I noticed when I used the other one, the Mystery Razor. It was smooth and, I don't know, it just felt very efficient and I kind of like that. Hey, I got a few shout outs, I just remembered. I got to go get my, uh, my iPad where I wrote them all down because there's a few of them. There's a few. So, hold on one second, I'll be right back. Going down. No, it's going out. Okay, I'm back. I was going to do something clever and funny, but yeah, forget it. I just need to get my iPad. Okay, so there's the uh, first pass. Time to put some more Barbasol on my face. It's probably too much. And I think I'll dial it down, even though I'm not feeling any, you know, the need to do so. I'm gonna dial it down just to see what it's like. Because I was watching Geo Fatboy do the review. So they, you know, they came out with the Rockwell Model T a few years ago. And this is the T tube. And Generally, I think the design is about the same. They've just kind of thickened some of the plates in here, you know, and made them a little more sturdy. So at least that's what I was reading on their website. All right, we got some shout outs. Nathaniel D. Aiken. You're turning 65 years old very soon. Happy early, I almost said belated. Happy, <laughs> I know what the word means. Happy early birthday to you. 
Nathaniel D. Aiken. That's a shout out for you. My son's birthday is coming up soon. Mmm. I forgot I was going to dial it back. I'm just going to dial it back one because I still feel like there's a pretty good amount of, uh, of whiskers I want to take care of. So we've got it on five. Let's go to a four. And you can go anywhere in between. It's just a smooth turn. You don't have to, it's not like a click, 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 click on the fat boy. You can get, uh, you know, you can dial it into a four or four and five eighths, four and three quarters. <laughs> what do I look like, a mathematician to you? Give me a break. There we go. I gotta watch out for that nick. I don't know what kind of blemish that is. Probably a zit or some little bump or something. You know, there's always, isn't that always the case, man? You think that when you get older, after you're a teenager, you stop getting zits. You don't. You still get them sometimes and in weird places. Oh boy. You know, I was about to say, why don't people tell you this when you're young? Well, they do, but I, you shouldn't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Just. Let it be a terrible surprise when it act actually happens to you in real life. That way you're not just worrying about it. If you're the worrying type. Yeah, I kind of like going down to a four now. I think six is a bit much. I think five is good. Four might be the sweet spot. But I feel just enough of the blade to be able to control it. And that's important for me with a razor being able to tell what I'm doing, where the blade is. But at the same time, it's not an aggressive feeling with this razor. Here's what I do when I, if I have a little nick, I just hold it, you know, hold some pressure on there while I'm doing other parts of my face. I had a little tip for you. So yes, I was so excited. I got the email from the folks at Rockwell and they said, yeah, we've been watching your videos over the years and you're a great supporter of our razors. I was like, I know. I mean, when I looked back, uh, I looked up, you know, Sinatra Lennon and Rockwell, and I found my first video with the the 6S, and I was like, oh my gosh, look at me. Different style. It's funny when you go back and watch my old videos when I was just kind of starting out or something. You know, different different energy was coming off of me. <laughs> it was a little less uh, goofy or something. I'm not sure. You guys have made me goofy over the years. It's your fault. It's your fault. I'm going to blame you. All right. Okay. Oh, we got a... We got a lot up there in Liverpool, eh, Michael? I had to do it. I'm sorry, I had to do the bad Scouse accent. Hey, oh, come, Ed. You all right? <laughs> you all right, then? I don't mind, really. Hey, how you doing? So, shout out to Michael in Liverpool. Liddy Pool. I don't, I don't, I, you know, I was looking for some slang, some Liverpool slang, but I think it's probably all out of date. It's all like from the 60s, like gear fab. That's all I know. I'm sure there's plenty of new ones now that I don't know anything about. Kind of like all the uh, slang I'm hearing from my kids. So shout out to you, Michael, in Liverpool. And if I'm ever back there in your fair, fair fine city, I'll let you know. I've been there a couple of times and really enjoyed myself. All right. Let's go for a third pass and a few more shout outs. And hopefully, hopefully on Monday, I'll be able to show you the mystery razor and talk about it and give you all the information that I'm just waiting on from them. As I said, some of you already know what it is. So I'm not going to confirm or deny. But uh, who else we got? Oh, we got another birthday coming up. Oh, it's, is that today? Christopher B., your birthday? Wait, no, no. January 13th. What, what is today? Yeah, yeah, the 13th. Gosh, dang it. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Happy birthday to you, Christopher B., today, January 13th. Hey, should we dial it back down again? Let's try it if you want to. Let's get crazy. Let's get nuts. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. That's a terrible pop culture reference. All right. Didn't even sound like Michael Keaton and Mr. Mom. Oh, this is nice. I'm telling you, man, if you've got $150 to spend and you want a really beautifully built, heavy, strong, this thing's, I say it all the time, this thing's built like a tank. It reminds me of this. Like, it's got the same solidity, even though this is just like three chunks and this has got much more engineering going on. They both feel <coughs> like solid. Like you can knock out an intruder with this thing if you whing. And maybe it would come back to you. I don't know. There might be a hidden feature in the T2. Of course, you can make all the Terminator references you want as you shave. 
Liquid Metal. Ah, oh, that was so cool that movie came out. Computer graphics still kind of hold up to this to this day, even though we're all a bit jaded now with the uh, advance in computer-generated graphics, and a bit overwhelmed and underwhelmed as well. It's like, all right, enough. Oh, boy. That's why it's nice to watch like a simple thing like the Banshees of Inishirin. I watched that with, what's his face, Colin Farrell. And the other gentleman whose name eludes me at the moment. That was cool. Weird. If you haven't seen it yet, it's, it's unexpected. It's funny and unexpected, that's all I'll say. All right, we got another shout out. Oh, we got Marcus Z. Marcus Z. I like that, I just imagine your name flying out in flames and going Oh, a little drop of water hit my iPad and, and registered on there. Oh boy, I hope it's waterproof. I hope it's Barbasol proof. All right. Watch out, where's that little knicker? Oh, it's right there, okay, good. Good, stop bleeding, but I'm gonna avoid shaving that little section. Do yourself a favor, if you get, like, if you have a zit that you wanna avoid after you put your shaving cream on, well, first of all, remember where the heck it is, and then just wipe that bit of shaving cream off so you don't forget. I do that all the time. Now, the only drawback I can see from this wider head, where there's more blade gap, I guess, on the ends, is that it's a little harder for me to get up in here into my nostril. Now, I can still do it. It just takes a little bit more time and effort. So that's, that's been the only thing that I've noticed that was a drawback for me. Is it a deal breaker? No, of course not. You can still get the job done. This is like, this razor is like driving around in a, like, a, like a fancy Cadillac or a, or a Lincoln, you know, in the old sense of the word, you know, I don't mean like a modern one. I'm talking about like Johnny Cash singing about driving on some big black Cadillac. That's kind of what this feels like. I don't know. It's a great design. It's beautifully designed. I'm sorry if I keep just holding it up like a goofball. I told you, y'all guys, y'all guys, y'all guys made me goofy. How's that for grammar? Oh boy. So yes, thanks again to the fine folks at Rockwell Razors, and I can't wait to tell you about the other thing they sent me. They sent me a bunch of other stuff too, not just a razor, but some products. Here they are right here. Hear that? It's annoying. I'm annoying myself now. Okay, I'm feeling all the problem areas. Let me do this. I noticed that when I watched a little bit of the, my first Rockwell 6S video, you know, I was talking about the problem areas back then. It's like, oh. Uh, were you ever so young? I don't know what was going on with my hair back then. I haven't figured it out quite. Go back and watch that. It's interesting. Yeah, this thing is luxurious and would make a beautiful gift for somebody. I mean, this is no joke. This is no joke. Rockwell does not make a bad razor. So I can't wait to find out what else they come up with in the future. I mean, how far can you go? I don't know. Done. Done, done, done. Done ski. All right, cold butter, and then some cremo, just for, for good measure. Now I'm gonna have to go back. I am popular, you know, contrary to popular belief. I'm not naked when I do these videos, but I do have that rule. No man nips in my videos, so I gotta make sure with it, when I was showing you that reflective box that you didn't get any, you know, any stuff that you're gonna, it's gonna shock you for life. You know, something you can't unsee. I saw one of his chest hairs. All right. <laughs> it's funny, I have a couple of close friends that just now noticed that I have a shaving channel. Cause I don't go around talking about it. I don't know why, I'm very proud of it. I just like my friends, like close friends to discover it. Or I bring it up, oh man, I love that stuff. Cremo, post shave balm, you know it, you love it. Oh, we got one more shout out before we say goodbye. Uh, Klaus Kilmer, shout out to you, Klaus. You and your buddy, Nick, your friend Nick said, hey, uh, would you shout out my buddy Klaus? Because we've been watching you for a while and we think it would be cool to hear a shout out from you. So shout out to Nick and to Klaus. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around for so long. Okay, final verdict. That is, even in the problem areas, I mean, there's a couple of little bits I can feel here if I want to be nitpicky which I kind of do. That is smooth as silk and I feel like this is a level of, <laughs> of razor that I, I, 
I, I don't feel worthy almost, but I mean, $150, it's going to last you. I think they have a, uh, yeah, you can register your new razor. It's got a warranty. It's probably a, uh, yeah, full on warranty. Probably takes care of anything that might ever come up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'll put a link to it below and, uh, wow. Fantastic shave. When you get a good shave with a razor you really like, that's where the real pleasure comes in, you know, and you're, you're using products that you love. Even if it's something simple as this, you know, for $3 at the grocery store. It's just those, I'm a simple guy. I'm a simple guy. I keep saying this to my, my wife. It's like, it's just the simple things like coming up to a red light and you're the only car there and you can just turn left with the, I'm, a, I'm not a simpleton, I don't think. I'm just a simple guy. Simple pleasures are the best. Anyway, the Rockwell T2 in gunmetal gray, chrome, I believe it's chrome, gorgeous, fantastic razor. Thank you to the fine people over at Rockwell. And I can't wait to tell you about the new thing coming up, hopefully on Monday. If not, then hopefully next Friday. And if not, then I'll probably just do it anyway. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. Shout outs again to Nathaniel Aiken, to Michael in Liverpool, Christopher B, birthday on the 13th, Marcus Z, Klaus and Nick, and everybody else. All right. See y'all soon. Bye.